All right, welcome back to my let's play the excavation of Hobbs Barrow where we left off. <laughs> ah, we're pretty much like in a spooky purple cave, no way to leave, and Herbert and the goat are in here, which basically tell me that they may be evil. <laughs> I still want to pet Herbert though. We can't pet Herbert though. Game developer, why can't we pet Herbert? Like, I don't care if Thomasia doesn't like Herbert. I want to pet Herbert. <laughs> uh, anywho, anywho. Uh, uh, yeah, let's let's go back to that snake puzzle and kind of awkwardly stare at it. Um, so let's move the dial here. I don't think I can move. Oh, I can move that. Oh, I can. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The back and forth is going to be real in this episode. I apologize, guys. It's going to be a lot of back and forth. Oh, there's two. I guess there would be two snakes. <laughs> okay. And what, what, what does the lovely nail do in this whole situation? Let's stick it in. And let's see, shall we? Something in that room. Clearly. Ah. Oh. Oh, I get it now. Herbert, it all makes sense. Why can't I pet you still? Okay, so I need to put the snake to light a... Okay, yes. There we go. Okay. Okay, now it makes sense. Okay. So, let's put that... Uh, here, although I feel like the snake would have moved, but we're gonna see where the snake went and go from there. Nope. Remarkable. Okay, but I need this danger noodle to like be higher up then. The statue is well out of reach. So I need another stabby thingy. A shaft of inexplicable light is beaming from the mouth of the serpent. Extraordinary. Okay, so let's see if we can find the other uh, nail. Which I'm guessing... Wait, I had an idea. Uh, can I put this in there? That doesn't fit there. No, of course not. I had a thought. Okay, nope, um... Okay, so I need to go deal with this. We gotta do some cranks. Oh no, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> this crank is jammed. It won't budge. Okay. Do I have to unjam it? can't get it unstuck with this. Do I have to use the pot? Oh, I bet you I gotta use that gre Oh yeah, it's grease. Yeah. The greasy substance could act as a lubricant here. There we go. Voila. So I get this feeling they all have to stare at the goat in the center. We'll try. hand is locked in a death grip on the handle. Who did this belong to? The fingers are icy cold. I've managed to pry it off. Should I keep it? Ew. No. No, we shouldn't. Oh, yep. No, we kept it. Okay. <laughs> yep, we totally kept the severed hand. <sighs> Something has emerged from within the bust. I think she knows by now that she may have 
gone into this, you know, more than she can chew. I forget the term. Basically, I think she knows by now. She she may have not supposed to be in here. Words are great, by the by. <laughs> A curious object. I'll keep it. Ah, okay. Now I know where to put that. Hello, kitty. All right, so let's stare at the hand. The hand is dry and withered, like beef that has been left. So guys, when you have cats, make sure you save often. Because there may be that once in a small chance that a cat's going to hop on your desk and be like, Hi, and hit some keys, and then crash the game. That's what happened. Blame the adorable Artie. McFarty. Yes, I, yeah. I don't know. I'm weird. I've had a history when I name my cats. For some reason, they got a rhyme. So, like, my first cat, it was, you know, her name. But it was, the nickname, uh, nickname was Farfic Newton of D Space Nine. Don't ask me why. It just happened. And then I got this adorable little kitty named Artie who is the sibling of Cooper and the other cat we're fostering right now, Bucky, who are related to Stella, who is the mom kind of thing. And, you know, Artie, named the cat Artie. Once in a while, I'll call her Artie McFarty of D Space Nine. I don't know why. It just it just happens. It clicks. Anywho, uh, let's go um, put this uh, eyeball into the slot, shall we? <laughs> the ramblings of Pa yet again. Uh, also, I need to do the coin. I, like I said, I didn't save, so the last auto save was when I entered the room, by this whole chamber area. So I had to go and speed run a couple of things. That doesn't fit there. Oh, it doesn't fit. Ah, but if it's it there, fits. if it's there, okay. All right. So, do I need to get the hand, Herbert? I feel like I may have to. Can I give it to you? I can't see how that will help me. I don't know either. Okay, well, let's give Herbert the hand, because they said Herbert was hungry. Herbert, can you eat this? Will you eat this? Oh, sure. You feed Herbert, but you won't pet Herbert. And yes, I know. I fed a cat a severed hand. And I bet you I pooped out a coin. But, I mean, <laughs> we still can't pet Herbert. And yes, I, I'm pretty confident the cat's evil. But I like to point out again, still can't pet Herbert. It's a coin. Oh, good. Another gold coin. This one also has no markings. I shouldn't say Herbert pooped out the coin, he, you know, puked it out, but, you know, yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Alright, let's put the coins, hi Cooper, oh, you're walking on my keyboard, thanks Cooper, do not be like your sister. Anywho, yay cats, coin and vessel. The coin went in. Hmm, I don't think anything happened. No, but we got another coin, so... There. The coin went in. Something stirred within the plinth. I should take a closer look down there. Okay, so this thing? Hmm. Characters. Perhaps Greek in origin? They are protruding out from the plaque. Perhaps I can push them in some manner. Oh. Okay. Uh... Bleh. What was the goat's name again? Because it has the goat on there. What was his name again? Uh, I feel like that's that's the answer. It's the goat's name. Let's go back. What's your name again, goat? Can I interact? No, no, I can't. Uh, <laughs> no, it didn't give a name. It had like seven. And that was it. Ah, pickles. Ah. <laughs> uh... 
ha 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 ha. Is your name on the wall? A remarkably accurate depiction for something that must be so ancient. A remarkable. No. Uh, shoot. I said Roman numeral was seven. Unless it's whatever. Seven was? I don't know. Nope. Okay, it's a four letter word. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. We have a book. I write, wait, wait, there was, yeah, uh, dip, 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 dip. there. There. Awkwardly stare. Awkward stare. Uh, because I think there was a note about that. Uh. Uh, oh! Uh, nature's law meaning blah 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 blah. Rho, theta, epsilon, six. We found this code was simply in the singularity of the characters. Oh, so this is basically what I'm solving. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so this is the solution. Um, okay, so I need to, I guess, take a photo of this. Um, so I need to find the symbols for rho, or not rho, uh, theta, and the x, v? I mean, I could just brute force it. That's also another thing I could do. <laughs> uh, oh, there's no P, though. Oh, uh, shoot. No, maybe this isn't it. I feel like it is, though. Because there's the P. Oh! Oh, that was it! Okay! That was it! Okay, good. Good, good, good. <laughs> a thin rod with tiny notches along the shaft. I didn't have- Her head is adorned with a coiled serpent. I didn't have to brute force it a lot, but we found another nail. And this. This must be important. Okay, so I know where to stick that. Let's go do that. That doesn't fit there. Oh, it fits there, though. It fits. Okay, so the last one will be with the snakes. So you gotta make the snakes do the whole eye, mo like, stone Whatever thing. Would... Words are great. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hopefully you're having a good day. I can't do words today, apparently. I mean, every day. Okay, so I need this snake to do the whole nail thing. So let's see. If I put that there, where does snake move to? And where does the light move? Okay, he needs to go higher up. I feel like it's the third like, notch. I can't qu- oh, uh, There. In there. Okay. Oh, we clicked. I think we're good. Okay, let's see. What in God's name? Alright, so let's stare at the hole, I guess. be important. Okay. So we have our final piece. Uh... Extraordinary. An ancient monument so deep beneath the earth. I know not the world I find myself in. Okay, so I guess we will now go and uh, put the last bit of puzzle together. Okay, so uh, this with this? It fits. Oh, 
It's gone. Well, we just poof fedied the goat. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. There's a page. There's some funky bust. Oh, good. And there's music. I'm pretty confident that's music. And we have a violin. What a quinky dink. Ha! Huh. What have we here? This is my father's handwriting. A page torn from his journal. Samuel's head was ripped clean off by an unseen force. There was so much blood. It remains to be seen if Saxnot was the proprietor of the shocking act. He's a sturdy lad, but he'll live. But he is shaken. I am shaken. Mr. Shoulder, however, seems very keen to push on. The man is positively cheap. Oh my god, he's evil. I mean, I've expected the town's a cult. Well, maybe some of them. But, you know. He's right, though. We do have a job to do. And by Jove, we will get it done. Saxnot. Okay, let's go get everything. A small round niche has been carved into the side of this slab. A sp no, okay, let's go get the soil. The soil has hardened into a thick casing. We may have to use the trowel. The soil- Nope, same dialogue. Uh, let's already start. A goat has been buried here. How gruesome. Like, recent? Oh, go goat skeleton, I was gonna say. Okay, never mind. Because, like I said, that one goat disappeared. A horn has broken away from the skull. A horn has... I'll take it. Okay, I bet you we need to use it on the bust. Uh, lid. It's very heavy. Okay, I guess she's not gonna li lift it. Uh, we should look at this inscription, though. Kaja? Saja? I have no idea what it means. Cards. Okay, same dialogue. I have no. Um, I believe this might be the lid of the small tomb. Okay, let's look at the shield. We'll look at the carvings and then the exit. That is well out of my reach. Two fearsome serpents have been painted onto what appears to be a shield. I can make out chains hanging from above, holding it in place. Two fear. Okay, can nope. Uh. Carvings. That is well out of my reach. I wonder if this had any relevant meaning. Yeah, we have a violin. It does have meaning. Another barrier to my progress, it would seem. Uh. <sighs> That's not moving an inch. Okay. Pots? Empty. 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 It's been smashed to smithereens. Okay, uh, let's go get the bust. What a hideous sight. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can see it being hideous. I mean, it's kind of unsettling. Look to it. Uh, so we can tilt the horns. That's good to know. Uh, I bet you we need to do something to open that jaw. Try as I might, I cannot pry it open. Okay, so yeah, we need to stick a horn on the other side and move things around. The horn fits perfectly, as if by design. So brute force for the win, guys. Let's go. Okay, that doesn't work. So let's try that. That. And that. Let's go one down. Huzzah! And we get a key. Oh, wait, eyes. The eye seems somewhat loose in its socket. Interesting. The eye seems. Oh, wait. The eye seems to follow me round the room. Hmm. No movement there. So, can I pry it out? I'll, I'll grab the key. But can we pry the eye out? Uh, let's try the uh, trusty knife. If I can just wedge the knife under here... Got it. Mm. 
Okay, let's go get the statue again. See how it looks with its eyes gone. Oh! Is that blood? Oops. Sorry. Oh, it's a keyhole. Perhaps I can find a key for this. Well, we have the key. We, we, it was in his mouth. Oh, is that real? The eye is rather unsettling to look at. Kind of looks real. Why do I get this feeling? See, there wasn't the- I'd be so curious, because the purple light is hiding a lot of stuff and a lot of details. I'd be curious to know what it would be like in the natural lighting. Or like... Uh... White light, I guess I would call it. What is actually happening with this. I'd be very curious. Uh, let's use that for that. Hmm. The key doesn't seem to fit. Oh, really? Okay. So... I got this key. <laughs> Let's try the room key. Hmm. The key doesn't seem to fit. Sorry, I had to try. I just had to. Uh, okay, so we don't have the key for that, but there is a niche and there's a bunch of holes there. A small round niche. Okay, let's try putting the eye in there. There we go. Remarkable. Okay, uh, what now? Rhesus. A keyhole. Okay, so we have a key. There's a key. I'll take it. Ah, okay, so I bet you a tomb key. So I bet you this key works with this. The key fits. Sounds like a mechanism creeped somewhere far above me. Okay, so the shield, I think it's gonna come down. So then this key would work on the bust. Yeah, I never looked at the key. Let's quickly look. This is the key I found hidden within the small recess on the tomb. Okay, well let's use key with I. It fits. Sounds like a mechanism creeped somewhere far above me. What a horrific racket! Interesting. It is well out of reach. That dreadful sound seems to be coming from behind the opening. I can almost make out a pattern. A tune of sorts. Oh no. Hopefully I don't have to play music going by that. I'm I'm pretty bad at those types of puzzles where you have to listen to the, the music and then like take that sound and put it like toward like on a keyboard what note it is and whatnot. I'm really bad at those. Um but I'm pretty confident we have to use a violin here. It looks like some that is well out. Um so let's try the fiddle. Oh no! <laughs> I called it! Actually, okay, wait, wait a second. Oh, let's, let's think music theory. Um, every good boy deserves... Oh wait, there's no F. Every good. Every good boy. I do see the G, D, A, E. So that helps quite a bit. Um, every good boy. D. That'd be a G. Every good boy. Uh, there is no. <laughs> every good boy, unless it's the other clef. I can only remember. I can. I can remember. Every good boy deserves fudge. I can't remember. There's another one too, and I can't remember that other one. Um, we'll have to wing that one. We'll go A. G. No. That's not it. Mm. Wait, there's four. Wait, how many notes is there? Give me a second. One, two, three, four, five. No, that's not it. Okay, so it's five notes. Okay.
No, that's not it. Mm. No, that's not it. I'm definitely not getting this right. I'm looking at this and thinking that I think it has to be a listen and guess. I don't think I got it. No, that's not it. Like, it, it's sounding like the, um... When you load up the game, and the, the, the cloak and dagger uh, logo appears, and it, it screams like that that beginning part, the wah, wah, wah. Oh, I can't say it exactly, but it's sounding like that. <sighs> I, I hate these type of puzzles. <laughs> Uh, not as much as sliding. Sliding puzzles? The worst. Um, let's try this again. D... G... Um, e... No. That's not it. Unless I'm reading it wrong. Because those are... Uh, let's try this way. No, that's not it. Ah. <sighs> No, that's not it. No, that's not it. Oh my goodness. No, that's not it. Oh, now you gotta wait. I may just have to look up a solution, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, let's listen once more. Okay. Well, darn it. Uh, I hate music puzzles. <laughs> okay, well, I think I'm gonna end the episode here, although I feel like once I solve this puzzle, we're going right into the end game. Like, finale, end of chapter, the game is done. But I'm gonna be here for a while. Um, so... I don't want to go too crazy. I may just look up at the solution. I'll try a little bit more offline. If not, yeah, I'll just give up and search for the solution offline. And last, I'm already claiming it to be the last episode. Next, our next episode is gonna be the last one. I can speak words. We'll find out. But anyway, I'm gonna end it here, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Um, shameless plug time as usual. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't mention it a lot, but I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers, so if you want to help, definitely do so. I mean, same time, I'm kind of like, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, whatever. That's shenanigans. Um, also comment. 
tell me which puzzles you hate the most. My worst puzzles I hate is like chess puzzles, sliding, and music puzzles. Let me know which ones you despise in a point and click adventure game. Check out my Twitch channel as well. I do stream on Twitch not as much because I have a small child, aka the potato, and basically I can stream when my husband can take care of potato for a couple hours. And yeah, that's about it. Once again, thank you guys so much, so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. You guys have a good morning, a good evening, a good night. And I'll hopefully see you maybe in the last episode of this Let's Play. Bye.